one of the greatest R&B groups that ever sang. I've been blessed to share the stage with so many great acts. You hear in Curtis Mayfield and the Impressions the spiritual power of a Martin Luther King. People get ready by the train of time. That's why people get ready is even more higher to me than Amazing Grace. Because people get ready means like, man, no matter what color you are, just get on this train and get on board. You couldn't stay at the big hotels at all. Uh, there was black hotels. There was a Holiday Inn there. We was kidding with each other, and, and one of the guys said, well, maybe we ought to go over there and, and, and stay over there. And of course, we know we couldn't stay there. And uh, finally, Curtis, he gets up and he goes in, and we're sitting in the car. We just figure, we know he ain't gonna be in there long. He came to the door and he was smiling and he was motioning for us to come in inside. We got on the phone to all the other groups that we knew, like The Temptations and some of the other acts, check into the Holiday Inn. They were, you know, there were a lot of blacks to stay there. You just thank the Lord. You don't need a ticket, man. You just get on board. I need a kind of woman. It's a good life, but the thing is, there's so much uh, out there that, that, that can uh, lead you one way or the other. I, I turn out to be, to myself, I turn out to be one of the worst guys in the world. I mean, toward family, to anybody. I just, all I thought about was myself, my wife. I think I took her, took her through so much. If I were her, I'd have left years ago. I would ask the Lord, to help me with finance, with this, or that. And he'd make everything all right. Everything is fine. I would say, well, if if you do this for me, then I'll I'll join the church and I turn my life around. I didn't I didn't go and do it. I'm, I'm telling you something, I'm I was getting uh, get on up in age. And I was asking her, and she said, have you promised anything? I said, yeah. And she said, well, there you are. You didn't do what you said you were going to do. And that Sunday, I went to the church. First person that stood up was me. I woke up, I'm ready to join now. I'm ready to turn my life around. And I didn't ask my kids, I didn't ask the wife, but I just turned around and who was standing by me? There they were. And he has touched me and made me a better father, better grandfather, better great-grandfather, friend. The Lord stuck with me. He's that good. He's that good. Were it not for a gracious, merciful God, we would all bust hell wide open. <laughs> if this story inspired you, take the steps to change your life. The first step is always to say, Jesus, Help me. 
Come On, Let's Go distributes hundreds of similar stories of lives changed by Jesus Christ. If you want to be part of this vision, go.